Hello, welcome to Synapse Center for Health and Healing. I'm Dr. Troy Spurl, CEO of Synapse. Today, we're just gonna talk a little bit about your immune system. It's so important to keep a healthy immune system, not just for cold and sickness, but overall, keeping the immune system decreases our inflammation and protects us. It is what helps give us vitality. So I wanna run through a few basics and some key concepts here. A lot of times, we don't take care of our immune system until we're sick. I'm here today to say if we apply those same principles, you can actually do a lot more for your overall health and start to improve your vitality. So let's go through some of the things. When you're sick, what do the doctors tell you to do? The healthy doctors, the good doctors. Number one, drink lots of water. Why is that? Because our immune system swims in water. We are mostly made up of water. 60% of our body is water. If the immune system can't actually get there, by swimming there, then it doesn't protect us. Attached to this is a video of what your immune system looks like under the microscope. I wanna want you to watch that so you can see our lymphocytes and our macrophages and our immune system response cells start to actually swim to get where they need to go. A picture's worth a thousand words, this video's worth 10 million. The second thing they tell you, you need lots of sleep. In the United States right now, there are over 100 diagnosed sleep disorders, and they estimate that 80% of the population does not know that they have a sleep disorder. When we sleep, that's when our rest and digest system takes over. That's when the brain sends signals to our immune system to clean up the day's activity. That's when the signaling from the brain really tells the immune system to get going after it. And again, watch the video so you can actually see this live and in person. The next one that we're looking at is stress. Luckily, no one watching this video has any stress in their life, so they don't have to worry about this one. That was sarcasm. So what we're looking at with stress is anything that causes a stress response, whether it be a physical accident, like a car accident, a, a sports injury, or a concussion, or mental stress, like the grind of daily life. Stress decreases our immune system response. In fact, the people who have the most stress in life are worriers. They're the ones who worry about getting a cold or flu, and guess what? Worrying is one of the worst things you can do for your immune system response. So don't worry about getting a cold or flu. Let's focus on building your immune system back up. The fourth thing that we see that is definitely impactful to our immune system, and when we're sick, if we eat, we want to eat whole food, or sometimes fasting helps with the immune system response. So know your body, avoid things that clog up our immune system. Sugar is one of the worst things you can do when you're sick. It's one of the worst things you can do for your immune system. It's inflammatory and it'll actually congest the lymph system where your immune system does all the work. So eating whole foods that are low glycemic is very, very important. The last thing and key concept, when you are sick, what do we tell you to do? The healthy doctors, what do they tell you to take? Vitamin C, why? Vitamin C is a major antioxidant. Antioxidants feed your immune system. It gives them the energy and vitality. When you combine that with the good, healthy water, and you combine that with the actual good, restorative sleep, managed uh, stress, and a whole food, clean diet, you're talking about a recipe for a heightened immune system response. So I want you to follow those five basics. There are a few keys on each one. For example, water is not just how much you take, it's how much you retain. You wanna make sure it's getting in your body and through your body. Sweating is excellent. If you're just drinking 100 ounces and peeing out 100 ounces, it's not working. People who have stress, our cells fold over on each other, so the receptors cannot be there to bind the minerals. The water follows the minerals into the cell. So here at Synapse, we actually measure whether or not your cells are folded over or there's a stress response that's stopping the water from getting inside the cells. So that's how important stress is. And then again, antioxidants. Uh, we'll do vitamin C therapy here, uh, whether it be IVs or in programs, but at home, if you take your antioxidants, your fruits and your vegetables in whole food form and supplement, exercise and move, that's what we're looking for to keep your immune system healthy. So take these five basic keys, watch the video so you can look at the importance of how these all work together to protect your immune system. And I guarantee you, when you see how your immune system works under the microscope, you're gonna have a new idea and a new admiration for how hard your immune system is working in today's age.